everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Today I'm going to be building this retractable blade. So I'm going to start this project and the whole uh, mechanism is going to be copied off the Wolverine claws. It, uh, these are a little uh, rusty, but um, uh, I'm gonna use the same trigger and hold mechanism for this blade. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a gauntlet or like a plate or base that will fit around my forearm. So this is what I have right now. It is as simple as it can get. It is one strip or plate of cardboard with scores on each side. And then I put duct tape and then my hand is gonna go through like this. So it's gonna hold on like that. It's not too snug or else I won't be able to get my hand out. And then where what's gonna go where my hand is, is gonna go uh, where these levers are right there at the end and that's how I'm gonna unleash the whole blade So right now I'm making the blade and that's so I can just, you know have the measurements straight from there and uh, Since it's just cardboard. I'm using skewer sticks to um, Support it and make it a little bit stronger, but uh, otherwise. Yeah, you can use whatever kind of wood piece you want Now on the uh, gauntlet I put a track for the entire blade to slide out on and uh, I'm using this broken knee hawk stick. You can use a piece of wood, but then on this side, I'm gonna use some paper or cardboard to uh, make it so it's like molded or it can slide like a track. And uh, then we'll hook up the rubber band system. All right, now that I have the whole entire blade on a track, as I can get to slide out here, it is now stabilized. Before I hook it up to the rubber bands, I'm now going to do the uh, lever mechanism or the extruding or the release mechanism uh, where the handle is and I'm just going to do that out of some more cardboard pieces. Alright, now here is the release mechanism. It is looks complex but it's basically a Y on one uh, arc on the Y. There's a pin, which is the skewer stick to hold it in place so it can go down and up. The other part of the Y is a popsicle stick, and I used it to go straight up because there's also this little notch, which I'm going to put duct tape over to smooth it, that when it's loaded or in load position, it's going to be pushed back all the way behind the popsicle stick so when it goes forward, it won't allow it to go forward unless I bend my wrist like this, kind of like Wolverine bend it like that which releases the pin which makes the rubber bands throw the whole blade forward um next step uh just add some rubber bands from this part up till the top of this arc so it has some resistance next uh use something to stop the blade from shooting all the way out uh, i'm just gonna glue some legos on the back and before it's ready to test, attach some rubber bands from the back of the blade all the way up to the front of the arc. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this project. I think it is Mark's Workshop Arsenal worthy for sure. I might have to clear some space because the knives and the guns are for filler to add some detail. But right there in the middle, I think that's where I'm going to add this uh, retractable blade. It kind of reminds me of Gypsy Danger from Pacific Rim or Obsidian Fury or Strider from TMNT. Otherwise, it's a really cool design and mechanical build that I did. If you like these belts that I do, like and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys later.